Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week's video, I did a Halloween look. So I decided to film this like vampire makeup tutorial and I went very simple. I just saw a lot. I remember last year I saw a lot of like vein look and like under eye <laughs> circles, which I get people are getting these uh, like vampire looks from like vampire diaries and shows, TV shows like that. Like that's how they portray vampires. So I kind of took inspiration from that, the kind of videos I've seen in the past, kind of things people have liked um, because it's a lot more simple than like thinking of like a costume idea, I guess. And in terms of how they've portrayed vampires on TV shows and movies, it is a lot more simple, um, this kind of look. So this is what I've done. Um, I tried to go for like more of a glam eye look too because I thought it would be really fun to play with some dark smoky look so I decided to do that and yeah if you guys want to see how I got this look then keep watching all right guys so I picked up this morph palette and I took this cool brown eyeshadow shade and I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna use this shade sort of all over my eyelid uh, or my crease I should say and I am gonna be focusing it more towards the outer lid as well but this is gonna be like one of my transition shades so I'm not afraid to use this like all over my crease and um, but I am focusing it um, a little more on the outer third of my eyelid. Next, I'm picking up the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay, and I'm taking this black shade, which is called Blackout, and I'm just using it um, with more of a this dense brush, um, sort of flat, and I'm just gonna use that to place the black shadow onto the outer part of my lid um not the whole outer third but just right in the corner and i'm using this brush to just place it and then i flip over the brush and i use the fluffier side um to blend that out very slightly now i'm just taking the fluffy brush and blending out any harsh edges between the black shade and my transition shades Back to the Morph palettes, I am taking this gold, um, bronzy gold shade and putting that all over my lid and I'm just using my fingers to do this. I'm just going to take the two shades that I put on my crease, so the black and the brown transition shade, and I just put that all over the bottom lash line and then now I'm just going to go in with some black line eyeliner in my waterline and my tight line. Now I'm just gonna go in and curl my lashes and I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm going to coat my lashes heavily. Now onto my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the um, Dip Brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills with the um, little spoolie that comes with it and I'm in the shade Dark Brown and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. Now I'm gonna take my concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me in 25 medium, and I'm just gonna use that both under both my eyes. I'm gonna make sure to go right against the eyeshadow to create like a sharp edge, just to clean up that area. And then I'm gonna go in and blend out that concealer. Okay, to start with the vampire look under my eyes, I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette and I'm going to take the brown shade in the center with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to go under my eyes. I don't want to create like intense bags under my eyes, but it's sort of going to just lead into the veins. So I'm going in with that brown shade, a little bit of the purple in the corner and I'm creating um, very, very slight um, bag look under my eye and I'm going I'm starting right against my lash line and just blending it out under my eyes 
Now to start the vein look, I took this eyeliner brush. It's super pointy and super small, so I thought it would be really nice to create these uh, veins. And I went back with the Huda palette. I took the purple and the brown shade and mixed those two shades to create the veins. So to create the veins, I recommend looking at a picture, maybe on your phone or printing out a picture just for reference. Um, what I did is that my veins are usually very prominent um, under my eyes, like pretty much like on my arms and legs as well. So it's just something that um, I have. And so for under my eyes, um, since I had already applied concealer, I stretched my skin just a little bit to see um, where my veins naturally were um, because mine are pretty pigmented and you can really see them um, when I'm not wearing makeup obviously and so I just try to follow those lines so that the veins would look more natural um, but obviously that's not going to be it for everyone so looking at a picture is is really going to help and I just use my fingers to sort of fade out the bottom of the veins um, to have them look a lot more natural. So I had them a lot more pigmented at the top and fading them out at the end. And that's basically what I did for the veins. I also just took the brush and the two shades that I used for the veins just to um, put more emphasis right under my lash line where I blended the two colors with the fluffy brush. So I just went back just to blend out that area and put more emphasis right under the lash line. Now I am going to contour my face. So I'm taking that Jack Jaclyn Hill and Becca collaboration palette and I'm taking that like bronzy blush shade um, called Amaretto and I'm going to mix it with the Hoola Benefit uh, brown bronzer. And I'm gonna use the brush that the Hula one comes with because I think it's really good to contour your cheekbones. The shape of the brush is really good for that. So I'm gonna mix those two colors and I am going to just contour uh, my face. I'm, I'm gonna contour my cheekbones a lot more. Now I'm just gonna use the CoverGirl Loose Powder and I'm just gonna use that um, to set my face or my T-zone area mostly, but also um, underneath where I've contoured to blend out any super harsh edges. Now I'm just going to take the Champagne Pop highlighter in this palette and I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones and all the other areas like my brow bone and the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. Okay, now for the lips. So I created kind of like an ombre effect, so I went in with this red I believe it's by Revlon, but I don't know the name of the shade, it's really old. But I just went in uh, with the red in the center, and then I went in with the NYX lingerie shade um, oh, Exotic. And I put that pretty much in the middle of my lips, mixed it a little bit with the red. And then I went in with this dark shade that's also by NYX, it's the Intense Butter Gloss in Oatmeal Raisin. And I used this just in the outer parts of my lips. Um, almost to basically line my lips and this created a really cute ombre effect and I really liked it. I wanted to do something dark and something that incorporated red for this um, vampire makeup look. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween vampire makeup tutorial. And I have another video filmed for you guys. It's like this brown smoky eye look. Um, and I filmed like a get ready with me. So I'm gonna be posting that soon, so stay tuned. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. So if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below any other videos you wanna see. Um, and that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video.